So let me conclude by telling you, first and foremost, data is not to be reported alone. It must be in an actionable form. So I would ask you to tell the stories on your units. No rates. You don't need a rate to normalize the data because zero is your goal. Five is not zero. 50 is not zero. And what you should be measuring is not line days, but progression towards zero. And learning and codifying what you learn along the way. That if you take these principles, borrow from other industries, if we drop the hubris that is healthcare that says, we did a lot of years of training, therefore we know everything, and actually look outside our doors to great industries that really, really make great products, we can learn a lot about how to standardize care delivery. And when you standardize straightforward processes, you free the mind to deal with the complexity that is our true work. Hospital acquired infections are not inevitable. They are the product of unreliable systems and a failure of leaders to be accountable for that. They are fully preventable. The elimination of unsafe conditions such as hospital acquired infections can free up extensive financial resources currently consumed in their care. Now this requires transparency about the money because when we prevented those infections and the insurer didn't pay us, I don't think the insurer gave premium dollars back to the subscribers, right? That's what has to occur at a national level if we're going to reap the benefits of reducing these costs. The nation cannot afford a $2.5 trillion health care system. And it certainly can't afford that health care system and get the value it currently gets. It is robbing this civilized society of the resources it needs to attend to many of the things you guys spend your day doing, which is the betterment of the human condition. And you can't do that work if we're wasting as much as $400 billion in what we know is fully preventable. It is an unthinkable proposition. So, I began with the Latin aphorism, primum non nocere, first do no harm. I grew up at a time where Latin was a real language, and so I took six years of Latin in high school. And so I'll finish with a second Latin aphorism. It's said, curate ipsa. So primum non nocere is first do no harm. Curate ipsa is physician heal thyself. The opportunity rests within our grasp. No legislation is necessary, no lobbying, no healthcare reform debate. Within our organizations, at these tables, Rest the answer to this problem. Rest the opportunity. And I would argue, rest the moral imperative. So, engage your leaders. Invite them to see your work. Observe your work carefully and know everything there is to know about it. Be bold enough to suggest what you believe are the solutions and ask your leaders to help you in solving those problems. And then act. Act. Dare to try. And compare your early results with your progress to zero. And if you do that, if we move from espousing it to practicing it, leaders and workers together, it's doable, it's doable.